unusual to see firefighters training, but today in Danville, they were practicing decontamination after a hazardous materials call. They don't get to do it very often, but they say decon is just as important as the actual cleanup. W Singai at Threes, Andy Olson shows you. Every week, firefighters in Danville get the chance to train and keep their skills sharp. Every month they do hazardous materials training, but because there's so much to learn for hazmat responses, they don't always get to focus on decontamination. The Danville Fire Department is focusing on hazmat training all week. They practice the rollout and cleaning procedures of their mobile hazmat van, and even got some help from a local reporter. The Danville Chief says these sessions are key for staying safe when responding to hazmat calls. It's just as important, probably more important, that we all go home safe at the end of the incident, just like any other emergency incident. So these guys taking their part, doing their part, taking their time, making sure that they're getting everybody clean, getting them properly clean. The fire department says training, as well as having a good test subject, are integral in making sure they stay sharp when these kind of calls come. In Danville, Andy Olson, WCIA3, your local news leader. The fire department says they only have half a dozen hazardous materials calls a year. Hazmat training continues tomorrow at DAC.